All right, guys, so the title of this video is actually not clickbait. Today, I'm going to explain to you how you can beat all of your addictions, and I'm going to explain it with plants versus zombies. It's going to be the craziest, weirdest shit you've ever seen in your entire life, but it's also going to be the best thing you've ever seen. So let's not wait any longer and get right into it. So if you have played the game, you are very familiar with the man that you're seeing right now on your screen, because this man is Crazy Dave. But in this case, it's actually you, the self-improver. You're trying to improve your life by watching all these YouTube videos about how to better your life. You're doing all these very weird and crazy habits like taking cold showers and meditation and reading and journaling and all stuff like that. And because you do all of these things, people think you are a little crazy. They kind of judge you for doing all these things and they don't really understand you, why you seem to punish yourself for taking cold showers, for example. But in the end, the reason why you're doing all these habits and why you try to improve your life is because you want to protect yourself. You want to protect yourself against the modern addictions that exist nowadays and you are fully aware of the problems that exist in this world. And you just want to defend yourself against these things so you can actually live a very happy and fulfilling life. And the enemy you're fighting towards is this little fella over here, which is Dr. Zomboss. So in the game, Dr. Zomboss is this evil zombie that is sending all these addictions towards you and is trying to take over your brain, basically. But in this video and in this case, this actually symbolizes the CEOs and all these like evil people who work for all these evil industries and who are trying to get you addicted to all of these substances and apps like TikTok and Snapchat, for example. These are like the, the companies like McDonald's, KFC, Google, Facebook, etc. These are the people who don't have the best interest with you. And they are basically trying to hijack your brain, just like the zombies in Plants vs. Zombies are trying to eat your brains. So in order to defend yourself against this enemy, you're going to need weapons. And your weapons, in this case, are the plants. In Plants vs. Zombies, plants are used to defend yourself against the zombies. But in this case, plants are actually your coping mechanisms and your healthy coping mechanisms, so to say. So plants in this video are going to be the tools that you're going to be using to fight off all of these addictions. And the addictions, these are the zombies, of course. So in Plants vs. Zombies, Dr. Zomboss will send all these zombies towards you in order to kill your plants and take over your lawn and eventually eat your brains. But in this case, you can see the zombies as things like sugary foods, addictive apps like Facebook, TikTok, Snapchat, and Instagram, addictive video games like Plants vs. Zombies, for example, and all of these like weird algorithms that keep you hooked. So in order to fight off these zombies, let's start out by building our defense. And the best way to start out with building our defense is to start out with the sunflower. So in Plants vs. Zombies, the sunflower is one of the first plants that you're going to get in the game. And the reason for that is because the sunflower, it generates sun. And sun is needed in order to plant more plants so you can expand and upgrade your defense so you can actually beat the zombies. And in this case, the sunflower actually symbolizes something similar. Because the sunflower, it stands for sleep, nutrition, and meditation. And instead of generating sun, these habits, they generate energy for you. When you want to tackle your addictions, what you got to understand is that you need a strong baseline. And the sunflower in this case, which is sleep, nutrition, and meditation, that forms the baseline for tackling addiction and also a healthy life in general. Because if you don't have a lot of sleep or you don't have very good nutrition or you're not really doing any form of meditation, then what's going to happen is that you won't have the energy to plant other plants to do anything else in your life. And then the zombies will just walk right through you and all these addictions will take over your life. So the sunflower forms the base of your defense and it allows you to do all of these other things, which I will talk about in this video. So next up, moving on, we have the pea shooter. So in the game, we can see that the pea shooter is like your main line of defense against the zombies. Where sunflower actually creates the sun in order to plant other plants, the pea shooter is actually something that's used to kill off the zombies. And in real life and in this video, that's actually the same because the pea shooter, it stands for things like sports, relationships, and healthy hobbies in your life. 
So essentially, the sunflower makes sure that you can actually do all of these things. Like I just said, if you don't get a lot of sleep, if you don't get very good nutrition or things like that, you won't have the energy to go to the gym. You won't have the energy and motivation to get into a relationship and talk to your family because you're just going to be addicted to things like video games instead. And you won't have the motivation to engage in healthy hobbies and activities as well. But if you actually do these things, that actually forms like the main defense against the zombies in this case, which are the addictions. Because once you do these things, you don't really have the need anymore to indulge into all these pleasures like sugar and TikTok and Snapchat and stuff like that. So together with the sunflower, the pea shooter actually forms a very strong couple and is actually the base for your defense. And it allows you to kill off the zombies very effectively. So next up, we have the cherry bomb. So in the game, we can see that the cherry bomb is like this very expensive one-time use plant that you can just put on a group of zombies and it will kill off all the zombies instantly. But the problem with the cherry bomb is that after you planted it, it's gone. It takes a lot of time to recharge and it also costs a lot of sun in the game. So then after you killed off the zombies, there will come new zombies again and you won't have like any sun to plant another cherry bomb. So in real life, we can see this going on as well, because the cherry bomb actually symbolizes things like willpower, and it also uses a lot of energy, and it also takes a lot of time to recharge. So when it comes to tackling your addictions, most of us, we tend to use the willpower method. And what this means is that when we realize that something is bad for us, like sugar, for example, we just stay away from it by using willpower. But the problem is that deep down, we still want sugar. But because we still want it, we actually have to use a lot of energy and willpower in order to stay away from it. And just like in the game, you can plant a cherry bomb, you can use a lot of willpower, and you can kill, kill those urges off instantly. But the problem is that the urges to indulge into these things like sugar, they will come back, and you won't have the willpower and energy again in order to kill these urges again. So the cherry bomb is not a very effective plant to use in this case, just like it's not an effective plant to use in the game, actually. So the cherry bomb, don't use it because it's not the best strategy in order to kill your addictions. But instead, what you do want to use in this case is the walnut. So in the game, we can see that the walnut is a very reliable barrier against zombies. It kind of, it holds off the zombies for a very long period of time and it allows the other plants like the pea shooter, for example, to actually kill off the zombies. So in this case, the walnut actually serves a very similar purpose because in this case, it symbolizes learning, knowledge and logic. And what this basically means is learning about the downsides of your addiction, for example. So when you watch all these YouTube videos and all these videos of guys like Andrew Huberman, for example, and you learn about the negative side effects that all these addictions have for you, you come to understand that these addictions don't serve you any purpose in life and therefore it becomes easier to stay away from these addictions. So compared to something like using a lot of willpower, like the cherry bomb, the walnut is actually a way more cheaper and reliable source against the zombies, which are the addictions in this case. So it's very valuable to start learning more about the downsides of your addictions because then you can look at a cookie, for example, and you don't have to use any willpower, but you can use your logical reasoning and say to yourself, hey, this cookie is bad for me because of X and Y, and therefore I don't want that cookie. So then you don't really need any willpower anymore you're able to stay away from your addictions way more easier. But what I do have to say is that just like in the game, if you only plant walnuts, you're not gonna win against the zombies because you will be able to stall them. But if there's nothing that will actually kill the zombies, you're not gonna win the game. And the same goes in real life. If you only learn about the downsides of the addictions, if you only watch a lot of YouTube videos, for example, and you don't have any like healthy activities like the pea shooter I just showed you. So you don't do any hobbies. You don't go to the gym, for example. You don't do any sports. You don't have any healthy relationships. Then there's nothing that will actually kill off all the addictions or the zombies. And then the problem you will have is that eventually they will break through all of your walnuts. And there's nothing that will protect your brains from all the zombies. So just like you shouldn't plant only walnuts in the game, you shouldn't just watch YouTube videos about self-improvement.
So next up, we have a very interesting plant, which is the Torchwood. So in the game, we can see that the Torchwood in and of itself, it doesn't really do any damage. But what it does do is that it boosts the rest of your plants. It kind of boosts your defense. So what we can see in the game is that when you plant a Torchwood next to your pea shooter, it actually allows the pea shooters to turn their peas into fire. And they actually do double the damage to the zombies. So in this case, the Torchwood, it actually symbolizes something similar, which is purpose and desire. So what purpose basically does in your life is it sparks a flame inside of you, just like the Torchwood. And what it allows you to do is it gives you more motivation to do all these things like which the pea shooter actually symbolizes. So things like healthy hobbies, healthy activities, things like relationships and going to the gym, for example. If you have a very strong sense of purpose and you have that fire inside of you, you have all these like desires and goals that you set out for yourself to do, then what's going to happen, you feel more motivated to do all of these things. So you actually give yourself a very big boost and you will deal more damage to all of those addictions because the harder you will do your workouts and the more hobbies you will have and the better your relationships are, the more damage you will do to the zombies and the less likely you are going to fall victim to all of these addictions. So the Torchwood or purpose in this case is a very important thing to have in your life. And especially when the zombies will get stronger, you will need a boost for your defense. So you will have to find something that you are passionate about and which you have a very strong desire for. So then next up, we have the Ice Room. So the Ice Room is this very interesting mushroom in the game where it temporarily stuns all of the zombies that are on the map at that time. And in this case, it actually does something similar because the Ice Room, it stands for mindfulness and self-control. So the thing is, when you try to quit your addictions, like maybe you don't want to scroll on your phone anymore, for example, is that the problem is, is that your brain is still hardwired to do all of these things. So whenever you get bored or something like that, what's going to happen is that you will instinctively grab your phone and start scrolling on social media, for example. So what mindfulness and self-control does in this case, it allows you to freeze for a second and just think about whether you want to do something or not. So what it basically does is it prevents impulsivity. So then if you do something like a mindfulness practice every day, then over time, what you will notice is that when you instinctively grab your phone, you're first going to think to yourself, hmm, do I actually want to go on my phone? Or is this just an addiction of mine? It's just a habit of mine, which I want to get rid of. And then you can make the decision to actually not go on your phone. So mindfulness is just a very important thing to use when you try to quit your addictions. Because even if you know about all the downsides of the addiction, so you planted all your walnuts, you watched all the self-improvement videos, you watched all the videos of Huberman talking about all the damage these things do to your brain, your body still has all these reflexes like grabbing your phone and something like mindfulness will get rid of these reflexes so you can actually stay away from them and you don't get into them on accident anymore. And then last of all, we have the plantern, which is actually a very special plant because in the game, we can see that some of these stages that you're playing, they tend to get very foggy and you can't really see the zombies coming. And therefore you can't prepare your defense on time and then the zombies, they will eat your brains. And the plantern, what it does in the game, it allows you to see through the fog so you can actually see the zombies coming so you can actually prepare your defense on time. And in this case, when it comes to tackling your addictions, it does the same because the plantern, it symbolizes clarity, commitment, and no doubt. And what I mean with that is that the thing with addictions is, is that if you quit your addictions after a while, kind of forget about the downsides that it had in your life. So if you eat a cookie, for example, or you eat a lot of cookies and you feel very bad after that, then you will have a lot of motivation to quit because you realize and you recognize the downsides that the addiction gives to you. But if you stop eating cookies for like maybe a year or something like that, then you kind of forget about the downsides that it actually gave you in your life. So therefore, your mind, it gets a little bit blurry. It's like you also get fog inside of your mind. 
and you can't clearly see the addiction for what it's actually like anymore. So then you are more susceptible to actually getting back into the addiction again because you underestimate it and you're thinking to yourself, hmm, what kind of harm can one cookie do to me? And then before you know it, you get hooked again, you're addicted again, and the zombies and the addictions, they will win. But if you actually have a lot of plan turns in your life and you are committed to your goal and you consistently remind yourself of why these addictions are bad for you, and you tell yourself that you made the decision to quit and you never doubt your decision, then you will stay focused and you will not fall back into the addictions anymore. So it's very important to always make sure that you have some plan turns in your life, which basically means always remind yourself of the negative downsides of the addictions. Always keep in mind that you made the decision to quit and that you will never ever come back at your decision, no matter what happens. So then after we build our defense, there's still one problem that remains in this case, and that is that addictions are constantly evolving and getting stronger, just like the zombies in the game are getting stronger over time. So about 50 years ago, we could see that things like smoking and junk food, for example, started to pop off. But then over time, about 20 years ago, slowly but surely, things like smartphones and social media started to come up. And then in the last year, we could see that things like AI and VR started to come up. And in the future, all of these evil industries, they will only grow even bigger and bigger. And what that means is that all of these addictions, they are getting harder and harder to deal with. And the only way to actually solve this problem is to actually upgrade your defense as well. So that means things like improving your sleep, improving your diet, you know, make upgrading your sunflowers in this case, but also getting more into healthy activities, getting a stronger sense of purpose going to the gym more often, setting new goals for your workouts and stuff like that, which means upgrading your pea shooter to the Gatling pea. And also learning more about the negative downsides of your addictions, become more aware of the harm that all these things do to you and weaponize yourself against them. So upgrade your walnuts into tall nuts. So this is the thing that's very important to keep in mind, guys, because addictions, they will get worse over time. And all of these evil industries, Things like VR, AI, it will get more advanced over time and you gotta stay on your game. You gotta stay and keep improving yourself because otherwise you will eventually fall victim to the zombies again and they will eventually take over your brain. So this is your motivation to stay on track, keep improving yourself and never get back at your decision to quit those things. So right now, before we end the video, I actually want you to take a look at your own defense right now and ask yourself whether that defense is strong enough against all the addictions and whether it's strong enough in the future as well. Because maybe you have a lot of walnuts on the field, for example, but you don't have any pea shooters. So you're able to hold off the zombies, but you don't actually kill the zombies. Or maybe there's something still missing in your life. You don't really have a sense of purpose. So you don't have like any torch food on the field. So you don't have anything that motivates you or inspires you and actually gives a boost to all these other healthy habits, which the pea shooter symbolizes. So all jokes aside, guys, this video might seem a little bit cringy or corny or a little bit funny to you, but I am dead serious about all of the things that I mentioned in this video. Because if you build your defense and you use all the plants, which I mentioned before, you are able to kill off your addictions. So right now, it's time for you to start taking action on this in your own life. So stop watching YouTube videos and start planting some seeds. And not in Plants vs. Zombies, but in real life this time. Stop thinking, start doing. Take care.